Welcome to another episode of Henry Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review over a hunting light made by Wicked Lights. The model we're looking at is the W403IC. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so when I purchased my Wicked Light, I bought the Night Hunting Deluxe Kit. Uh, it came in this protective case. That's where I carry my light and everything that came with it inside. So let's see what's in it. First things first is the light. Here it is right here. Got a really big lens on it. There's your intensity control right there. Comes with uh, two batteries. This is not a wicked light. You should have two look like this. This is just my friend. He's borrowing my other wicked light battery. Uh, so it comes with that. It comes with a charging case. Now the cool thing about this is you can use either a wall mount and plug it in right here or you can use the is it, what, 9 volt or you're, like, you're using your vehicle, the same mount. So if you're out in the field, your battery runs out, you just plug it right back in, charge it right back up, keep going. So that's really cool. The one that I got uh, came with three LEDs, you can just pick one. But I wanted to get the three of them just so I had options in any certain situation I found myself in. So it comes with the red, white, and green. So here's your green, your red, and then my white is actually in the flashlight. So this is how you get to it right here. You just turn right here. That's good. And there it is. There's my white. That's just what I use most commonly. Uh, but it's inter interchangeable. You just twist right here. It comes right out right back in. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, <clears throat> so one really cool thing about this intensity control is if you're a solo hunter or you're going out uh, maybe predator hunting when you're by yourself you can use this right here and what this is is this attaches to your rifle or shotgun or whatever you're using and you just change out the tail cap. You can twist this off. Everything about this is real quick. Every, everything of changing stuff on here is really fast. It's, I really like it. So you put this right here. So this is going to go up in your light mount and then this you can put on your gun depending if you're a left handed or right handed shooter. You know, you can move it and it works just the same as your tip cap. So I really like that. Let's take that off because I usually bring some weight when I hunt. So I usually have, I have a shooter and a light gun. You're also going to get this adjustable light mount. That's really cool because of how small it is, but all the functions that they put in the small mount so your, your light's not too high above your scope. Uh, you have your windage for left and right, and you have like up and down vertical. You can move this just to change your light where you want it to so that it's hitting your crosshairs perfectly. Also, if you have a Picatinny rail, you can use this. Undo this, take it off, put it back on, tighten it. So that's really neat. So. For my AR-15, this is what I use. I just have a, a Picatinny mount on top of my scope that I just put that on. You can put it to the side or under, whatever you want to do. I put mine on top because I like it like that because I can put my beam down to where my scope is meeting my target. So that's what works for me. But any way you want to do it, super useful. Okay, so now that we've gone over just what you get, if you get that kit, uh, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend the three LEDs just because you get to change your colors depending on what situation you're in. Like I was saying earlier, Let's go over uh, some of the features and the specs that, I'm not going to get too detailed, but just make this light a lot better than other hunting lights you have on the market. First off, which is the whole, I will say, this is one of the major reasons I bought this light, was this right here, your intensity control. This matters a lot, especially if you're uh, getting really close to the animals you're hunting. This right here, if you have turned it all the way to the right, you know, you have 100% brightness, but you can turn it down to zero and anywhere in between, whatever fits your need. Sometimes if you get a coyote out there and he's not com coming in on the call because the light's too bright, you can just bring this baby down where you can still see where he's at and they'll come in because that light isn't blinding them or you're not paying as much attention to it as they were earlier. So that that's really cool right there. Okay, so another thing that makes this light awesome is the halo shield that's attached to it. Um, because this is flat, when it sits, you don't have any light spillage whatsoever. Other flashlights may have um, 
some decorative patterns or other things to cut out, things like that. And whenever you put that flat, you know, you'd have light escaping. You don't want that when you're out there in the field. Thirdly, the focus on this is awesome because it's so quick. You know, right now I'm in flood mode, but if I turn this, I'm down to basically the cube of the LED that shows up, you know, far away. Or if you point against the wall, you would see, you know, just a bright square. And if I want to go back to flood mode, boom, from there. It's really quick. I really like that. Okay, so let's talk about the lens. Now, I'm not an expert on lenses, but I do know that this lens is awesome because of how big it is. Just look at it. It's a convex lens, and the thing that separates this from other flashlights is how deep it is. If I was trying to do this, well, actually, I cannot do it and show you. This right here, if you look at it, you look at the height, that's really good. That's what gives you really good light. If it was shorter, it wouldn't be as bright. But because it's so tall, it gives you really good light at a really good distance. So that's one another thing that makes this light so much better is just the, the glass that's inside of it. Okay, when it comes to battery life, if you're running the white or the green, they say that it's going to last about three hours. Now, I haven't ran it at 100% for that long, but I'm assuming it's going to work a long time. I mean, I can basically run about five hours on one battery, and I, that's pushing. I mean, I don't, I don't usually hunt longer than that anyway, so I mean, I can have one battery charged up and use it the whole night if I want to, but it just depends on how intensely I'm using it and how long it's going to last. Now, if you're using the red, it says it'll last 30 more minutes, but I don't, I mean, I don't think you'll actually be able to tell a difference in the field. Okay, another thing that's awesome about this light is how far you can see with it. I mean, I can, with this light, uh, I can easily see over 300 yards. And I'm never going to be shooting that far in an actual situation. But, you know, if, I, if I'm scouting or I'm trying to catch some eyes, you know, in some, in some tree, in a tree line or the edge of the field or something, this is where it comes into handy. Because my spotter man, he can be out there looking he can pick up eyes that are really far away so we don't leave a stand too early or we or you know maybe we have two sets of coyotes coming into a call or two sets of gray fox coming into a call and we see more than one set of eyes you know there could be one at 100 yards that we see and we focus on but there could be another one that's 350 yards out and it may be two or three of them but we didn't pick that one up because you know our light didn't go that far so this is where that comes into uh, comes into play so if you do any competitive shooting or com competitive hunting, you know, you really want something like this. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the three colors that I have in this flashlight. So on the bottom, I have the white, in the middle I have the green, and the top I have the red. So you can check those out real quick. This is how you change the color of your light. Uh, me personally, I see red and white the best, so that's what I'm using most commonly. Uh, I know a lot of people use green for hogs. My eyes don't pick up green as well as the other two colors, so I never use it, but, you know, it's nice to have it if the opportunity does does come into play. Um, I use white most of the time, just because I have that intensity control, I can really use it, and my eyes pick up white farther than they do red, but if you do want to use red, a lot of people, they, don't, they only hunt red light, which is fine, I mean, it works too, and I like it, I use it, I like it a lot. Uh, but if I have my pick, I just pick white just because I can see farther with it. Pick up more things. You know, out here in West Texas, we have a lot greater distances to see from. You know, it's a lot more flat than other places. So if you're in maybe more hills or more terrain and elevation, you may use a different color because you're not going to be looking as far as we do out here. Okay, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below to look Wicked Light so you can see some of the tests they've done. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hard and kind of rough on things. Just any kind of tool or anything like that it just happens you know it's not that I don't value it it just things break and I don't know just, I'm, I'm rough on things so this light really works for me uh, I can throw it in my truck I can throw it in the bed I can toss it across the field I can throw it in my suitcase I can throw it in my hunting bag you know I'm not gonna have to worry about oh is my light okay is, you know is it gonna work I know they've done tests like run, driving this over with really heavy trucks or freezing it in water and it's still working so these these lights are really awesome now, some people say they may be expensive, but you, if you look at the value you're getting out of them, I mean, you're really getting your money's worth. The only, I mean, I'm sure there's more expensive lights out there, like the first one I can name off the top of my head is Coyote Light. I don't hunt enough. Uh, 
I don't hunt predators enough to make that light to get the value out of that light so I, that's why I don't have it but this wicked light works perfect for me you know when I am hunting and I need to see in the dark or you know any other time not even that maybe like doing something to a vehicle or just any time you need light this thing works perfect because I can count on it I know the battery life is going to be there and I know that it's going to be tough enough to withstand whatever I'm doing to it you know you add all those features together you look at the light the interchangeable LEDs the battery life everything it's a pretty good pretty good light I mean all around I, I really don't have any complaints about it the only thing that's gone wrong with this one is I tore my o-ring but that's just that's for me I just uh, opened it one time and just ripped it so I mean I just put a new o-ring on it that fit it and put it right back in so now it's back to being waterproof so no complaints here I really like it um, I haven't contacted Wicked Light so I don't want, know what their support's like but I assume it's pretty good um, I haven't had any bad experiences with them and the people that I know that also have Wicked Lights haven't had any bad experiences with them either so if there are any bad reviews out there I'm sure it's an anomaly so I, I highly recommend it it's what I use it's what my friends use we really like it we use it to hunt it's worked every time we need it to work it does it does its job a lot of value so check it out it might be worth your time okay so before we end this video I'm gonna go over something real quick yes my MTB box did come in the mail so if you're following me on Instagram I'll leave that right here uh, then you saw that come in so I'm really excited for that I tried to do a video on, I tried to do an MTB slam yesterday, but we didn't get out to the lake quick enough, so we ran out of sunlight, so all that footage has to get scrapped, and we have to do a new one, but I'm still going to do it, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know, but I'll get it, get it done, get it edited, and throw it out there for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on the social media that I post down in my description. Uh, I like really interacting with you guys and getting to know you guys, and uh, maybe going fishing or going hunting or, you know, something like that. So follow, I mostly use my Instagram, also my Snapchat, and sometimes my Twitter. So definitely those are the best three ways to reach me on there. Also, you know, just commenting here on this video, that works too, you know. I appreciate the support, guys, and see you on the next episode of Internet Outdoors.